Here we go, step three in getting people to do stuff. These three videos bear in mind you, and actually bear in mind, I don't want you to have a picture of a bear in your mind, but now you do. Uh, I hope you don't mind the, the corny jokes, but bear with me. Anyway, these three pieces of the puzzle of influence, these are three things that you do I want to remind you that before you ever even connect with somebody, you, right now your belief is turned on, you're certain there's something inside of you that this person has to get. You have a belief that you're funny, you believe that you're powerful, you believe that you're amazing, you believe that there's some message inside of you that if people really absorb it and take action on what you're gonna say, they could experience a lot more pleasure for them. And if they don't, there could be consequences that they don't wanna have, that could have a ripple effect, they could affect their family and their kids and their whole life. So you have to have a feeling of certainty that what you have to offer is a thousand times more valuable than what's out there. That's step one, and then step two was to be clear in our outcome how we want people not what we want people to not only do but to think and to feel and here this piece before you ever even engage with somebody is to make sure that your physiology is strong as we're going to discover in other videos this triad um, it's a representational model of what's happening uh, for somebody else when we talk about uh, emotional states based on somebody's basically internal representation system, their IR, how they're processing data. So we want to be able to control that within ourselves to make sure that we're in a resourceful physiology, but make sure that we're communicating in a way that affects somebody else's triad, where we can powerfully communicate a message that changes their focus, changes what it means to go through what they've gone through or where they're at right now. We change the meaning and we change their physiology. Ultimately, we change the way they feel. And so all actions, are created by thoughts and decisions and feelings and beliefs and so if we want to could put a different feeling in somebody that inspires them to action we need to go there first and it's hard to do that if your back hurt is hurting and it's tired and trust me I've been on the road I've been done over 3,000 talks 3,000 seminars and it doesn't wake up every day like you know you don't wake up every day like yay another seminar yay I'm gonna get to talk to people again some days you're tired you know and, and you know and I've definitely had days where I was not my best far from it and I lowered my standards but you know you can't stay there we've all been there before and so I realized that when I was my best I had gotten good sleep um, that's not always possible um, or you were well hydrated your physiology is good and it is turned on so doing something to turn yourself on and the way that I think of it is this it's like some people even when they're a speaker they kind of like plant and they have their arm movements and and you see speakers on video and they've got this it's almost like a cadence and they go to this one you know arm pattern over and over and over again so this is not a resourceful physiology you don't want to plant and and like communicate you want to prowl like there's this movement when you're on a stage and so when you're with somebody you might be in a, in a chair but your physiology is turned on and the way that you do that is to make sure that you are in a strong physiology that there's like an energy in you, charisma, charm, passion, it could be sitterness, could be gravity. You could think of maybe times that you were with your grandfather. I know he was uh, a really like a rock in our family. It's like you felt comfortable in his presence. And so maybe it's that, you know, being that for somebody, being an anchor point, being somebody that holds space, that's connected, but it's hard to do. You can do it energetically, and that's, that's gotta be there, but your physiology being on, being powerful, is it's really important for you to get that because if your physiology is not turned on before you have an influential interaction, you won't have, your, your words will, will stop. They won't go into people. So there's gotta be a physiology that's turned on in you. And the way that I think of it is this, to not just be fit and not just be healthy. Because I've been around and I've seen people speak on stages and I've been around people in social context, social situations where a guy was like really big or bulky and he had a, like a powerful frame. And so it's not about just being big with our energy or big in our bodies or big in our words. It's literally having a physiology like a weapon. It's like somebody could be really big and kind of bulky, but you know, just speaking, having this, this potential energy here, almost like, like I'm speaking, like I'm leading I'm leading with my hips, I'm leading with my entire physiology. And so there's, there's, a, there's a, a punctuation to my words. There's a cadence that isn't, that isn't mapped out and you know, like these little you know, scripted out movements and things so people don't look weird on camera. It looks, in a, it looks inauthentic, it looks weird, it looks creepy. 
Um, so you want to get make sure you're in a physiology where your words are matching what you're saying. That congruency, congruency is power. And when people can feel that your words, your thoughts, your emotions, what's your body is speaking its mind, most people they say one thing, they do something else, their actions, their, their emotions are all over the place, incongruent, they're all over the place. But when your words, your thoughts, your feelings, your actions, your beliefs, your identity, your goals, all in alignment with who you are, this power comes through you, but it's really hard to do if your physiology is not turned on. Like when you're in that, that passionate state, there's a flow state that comes out of you. And so getting yourself into that state every day before you interact with a human being, before you meet, get into one of these influential presentations, I don't care what, if you gotta work out, do a power move, jump up and down, take a cold shower, do something to turn yourself on. You will be much more effective in your influence situations.